Question 1. How can you manually release spring brakes in an air brake system? A. With a hand control. B. You can't. C. With a release bolt. D. With a foot control. The answer is C. With a release bolt. Question 2. The capacity of a service tank is determined based on what factors? A. The size and number of brakes installed in the axle group. B. The year the tractor was manufactured. C. According to OEM specifications. D. None of the above. The answer is A. The size and number of brakes installed in the axle group. Question 3. At what PSI does the low air alarm activate if the air pressure drops below that level? A. 50 PSI. B. 80 PSI. C. 60 PSI. D. 70 PSI. The answer is C. 60 PSI. Question 4. What occurs when the part control valve is pulled? A. It prepares the brakes to application. B. The part brakes are released. C. Air is exhausted and the park spring expands and applies the foundation brake. D. None of the above. The answer is C. Air is exhausted and the park spring expands and applies the foundation brake. Question 5. What do the air pressure gauges in an air brake system measure? A. The air in the park brakes. B. Air pressure from the primary tank. C. Air pressure from the secondary tank. D. Air pressure from both primary and secondary tanks. The answer is D. Air pressure from both primary and secondary tanks. Question 6. What does ADS stand for in the context of air brake systems? A. Air Dryer Integrated Solution. B. Automatic Drying Isolation System. C. Automatic Documentation into Solids. D. Automatic Dryer. The answer is A. Air Dryer Integrated Solution.
Question 7. What steps can you take to remove contamination before attaching the glad hand couplers? A. Blow into the couplers. B. A quick discharge of air pressure before connecting the glad hand couplers to blow contamination out. C. Shake the couplers for 10 seconds each before connecting the glad hand couplers to shake the contamination out. D. None of above. The answer is B. A quick discharge of air pressure before connecting the glad hand couplers to blow contamination out. Question 8. What is transported through the air lines that connect to the trailer? A. Hydraulic fluid. B. Most of the air supply. C. All of the air supply only. D. The air supply and the brake signal to the trailer service and park circuits. The answer is D. The air supply and the brake signal to the trailer service and park circuits. Question 9. What is the function of the slack adjuster in an air brake system? A. It converts push rod force from the chamber to torque on the S-cam shafts. B. It automatically adjusts the slack in the brake lines. C. It forces the air intake valve. D. None of the above. The answer is A. It converts push rod force from the chamber to torque on the S-cam shafts. Question 10. What issues can arise with air pressure park brakes? A. Not enough pressure to park. B. They're not as tight as spring brakes. C. Air pressure drains out of the system. The park brakes will release. D. None of the above. The answer is C. Air pressure drains out of the system. The park brakes will release. Question 11. During a Level 1 Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance CVSA, inspection, what will enforcement officers examine? A. The couplers. B. The sigh of the primary tank. C. The sigh of the secondary tank. D. Both parts of the tractor's protection system. The answer is D. Both parts of the tractor's protection system. Question 12. What should be used to cover glad hand couplers when they are not attached to a trailer? A. Full automatic couplers. B. Dead end couplers. C. Semi automatic couplers. D. None of the above. The answer is B. Dead end couplers.
Question 13. If a trailer loses traction due to a failure in the trailer supply line, what occurs? A. The trailer will swing. B. The ABS will activate. C. It will take three times as long to stop in a straight line. D. None of the above. The answer is A. The trailer will swing. Question 14. What will happen if you push in the trailer air supply valve, red button, while the park control valve, yellow button, is pulled during vehicle inspections? A. The secondary tank is low in air pressure. B. The primary tank is low in air pressure. C. Any air leaks to be noticed and dealt with before the equipment is put into service. D. The driver will know if lines were crossed. The answer is C. Any air leaks to be noticed and dealt with before the equipment is put into service. Question 15. What steps should a driver take if the trailer service brakes are not working and an emergency stop is needed? A. Pull the trailer air supply valve. B. Take a longer route to stop the vehicle. C. Pump the brakes. D. Apply the mechanical brakes. The answer is A. Pull the trailer air supply valve. Question 16. According to the Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance, CVSA, roadside inspection out-of-service criteria, what is the minimum allowable thickness for brake linings? A. 3 8 inch, 9.5 mm. B. Half an inch, 13 mm. C. A quarter inch, 7 mm. D. 3 quarters inch, 19 mm. The answer is C. A quarter inch, 7 mm. Question 17. What is the sole air system failure in a tractor that can prevent the service circuit's brakes from working during a service application? A. Primary service circuit failure. B. Emergency brake failure. C. Secondary service circuit failure. D. None of the above. The answer is C. Secondary service circuit failure. Question 18. What is the function of the tractor protection valve in an air brake system? A. Closes off the service line. B. Controls the supply line. C. Stops air pressure from entering the lines. D. 
Uses supply line pressure to open the service line. The answer is D. Uses supply line pressure to open the service line. Question 19. How can failures in the supply circuit be identified? A. After a post-trip inspection. B. During brake failure. C. During pre-trip inspections. D. The air pressure gauge is not replenishing when the air pressure gets below the governor cut-in level. The answer is D. The air pressure gauge is not replenishing when the air pressure gets below the governor cut-in level. Question 20. What is the purpose of glad hand couplers in an air brake system? A. Connects the air lines to the cylinders. B. Connects the air lines to the trailer. C. Connects the air dryer to the air lines. D. None of the above. The answer is B. Connects the air lines to the trailer. Question 21. What risks are associated with having a very powerful emergency brake, especially one that is twice as strong as spring part brakes? A. Brake lockup in an emergency application. B. Brake failure on the trailers. C. Having a load shift in an emergency. D. Brake failure on the tractor. The answer is A. Brake lockup in an emergency application. Question 22. What is the function of the service slash control line in an air brake system? A. Blocks the control system. B. Disconnects the trailer service relays. C. Carries the control system from the foot valve to the trailer service circuit relays. D. None of the above. The answer is C. Carries the control system from the foot valve to the trailer service circuit relays. Question 23. What factors can cause glad hand couplers to leak? A. If the seals are the wrong size. B. If the air pressure is too much. C. If the seals are soft or degraded. D. If the couplers are not attached securely. The answer is C. If the seals are soft or degraded.
Question 24. If the trailer air supply valve malfunctions during a roadside inspection, what are the potential consequences? A. The vehicle will be placed out of service. B. The driver receives a ticket. C. The employer receives a ticket. D. The vehicle must return to the yard. The answer is A. The vehicle will be placed out of service. Question 25. What is the function of auxiliary retarders in a vehicle's braking system? A. They replace the park brakes. B. They replace the service brakes. C. They help to control speed on downgrades and preserve the service brakes for emergency stopping. D. None of the above. The answer is C. They help to control speed on downgrades and preserve the service brakes for emergency stopping. Question 26. When adjusting manual slack adjusters, how far should you back them off after tightening? A. One third turn. B. One eighth turn. C. One half turn. D. One quarter turn. The answer is A. One third turn. Question 27. When adjusting manual slack adjusters, how do you verify that the wrench is being rotated in the correct direction? A. It does not matter which way the wrench is turned. B. The push rod should move into the brake chamber. C. The push rod starts to pull out of the brake chamber. D. The S-cam should rotate in the same direction as the brake application. The answer is D. The S-cam should rotate in the same direction as the brake application. Question 28. Apart from the Arvin Meritor, what is the typical amount of adjustment needed for other manual slack adjusters? A. May 8th. B. 7 16th. C. March 4th. D. A. Demi. The answer is B. 7 16th. Question 29. What is the recommended guideline for readjusting slack adjusters to ensure optimal performance? A. 3 8 inch, 9.5 mm. B. 3 4 inch, 19 mm. C. A quarter inch, 7 mm. D. Half an inch, 13 mm. The answer is B. 3 4 inch, 19 mm.
Question 30. For a slack adjuster with a square adjusting bolt, which wrench size should be used? A. 5 16 box end wrench. B. 7 16 box end wrench. C. 5 16 open end wrench. D. 7 16 open end wrench. The answer is C. 5 16 open end wrench.